Hello everybody, welcome back to Survival Challenge. We did a thing last time and made a really big field. I didn't realize when we were making it how big it actually was. And then I took a look at the map and <laughs> this was uh, this was formerly our biggest field. This one I think is actually quite a bit larger. So um, it is not planted. This field is not planted. They are both currently idle. So I think um, when I started thinking about planting them, uh, I looked at the size of our cedar over here and the thought of using this six meter cedar on that new big field is not terribly appealing. So I think what we're gonna do is we're going to upgrade our cedar. I found a mod that um and i'll show it to you in a minute it's going to take most of our money to buy but i think what am i doing i'm talking and not focusing on driving uh it's bigger and it also fertilizes at the same time so uh now that we're getting more and more fields and remember our goal is to own all of the fields uh, we're going to want to be able to take care of those, turning those around in as little time as possible. So, uh, to that end, we are going to buy a larger cedar. So, let's unload all those seeds. Uh, I know we could make more money if I took it to town, but I really don't want to take the time to do that. So, we're just going to swap them out right here. We're going to pay a little delivery fee, but it's only money. And like I said, we're going to spend most of our money, but we have uh, we have some silage. We have a ton of silage. We're going to end up with over 600,000 liters of silage. Uh, so that's going to make us a good piece of change. We have some beer to sell. Uh, we're, we're still making donuts. So we're going to make the money back fairly quickly, and this is going to help us a lot in the long run. So we are first well that's the wrong menu so uh first thing we're gonna do is sell our current cedar and before i say farewell this is a great cedar this is such a such an awesome cedar for the price um if you are starting a survival challenge or any sort of series where you're using smaller equipment and you need to save money this is 17 grand brand new six meters um it, it works really well it has a decent capacity so you don't usually run out just a great tool but we're going to sell it and then we're going to buy where is it this guy right here the great plains 3s 3000 hd well, that's a mouthful uh, it has an even larger capacity. It also does fertilizer, and it's nine meters wide. So we have a choice here. We can choose our fertilizer to seed capacity. Uh, I'm actually going to go to this, 45 fertilizer, 55 seeds, uh, and that will split this, 45, 55. So I, I think that's going to be enough to do any fields that we have and make sure that we get everything fertilized at the same time. This is going to save us a lot of time because now we don't have to do two applications of fertilizer. We'll do the first one when we plant, and then we just have to go back and do one more. So we're going to buy that. And we still have 12 grand left to buy seeds and fertilizer and such. But we have a little bit of both. We'll see how much we can put in there. And there it is. A thing of beauty. Now I'll admit, this is a trailed cedar as opposed to a three-point cedar, and I'd always prefer the three-point, but as you get bigger, uh, you really don't have a whole lot of choice. Most of the larger ones are trailers. Just a little harder to, to maneuver. But you get used to it. Oops. <laughs> Had to get right up against the tree. Okay. That wasn't bad.
I'm going to go ahead and buy one more of those. Might as well fill it up. We have two fields to plant. Let's go back here to the big one. Buy in bulk. That's what I always say. All right, so we'll fill this the rest of the way up. We have some fertilizer that's just been hanging out over there by the fermenter for a long time. So we're going to take care of that. All right, 2,000 liters of seeds. That's a good capacity. That's what we had on the old cedar. And no fertilizer. This should easily fill this up. All right, I think we're going to start with the small one first, just to kind of get a feel for this new cedar. Nine meters. Nice. All right, so we're going to put oats in this field again. We need some flour, and we need it fast, so no better way to do that than oats. Well, as you can see, that's going to be a lot faster. I missed a few bits here and there. I'm going to have to just going to have to use it and get used to it so that I don't miss little bits and pieces. But that will come. This tractor clearly has no problems pulling it. I think the max horsepower for this thing is like 150, which doesn't sound like enough, but that's what it is. I want to plant every square inch of this field. Oops. Looks like I still have a few little chunks of wood laying around from when I cut trees out here months and months ago. All right. And that is an oat field finished in record time. I am going to 
seed this field over here in barley but I'm going to do that off camera because it's going to take quite a bit longer and it doesn't really lend itself to a time lapse so I'm going to get that done off camera and I'll bring you back we're going to sell a few things and then we've got a sorghum field over there that needs harvesting so I think we're going to have plenty to do today well that's done the nine meter cedar just makes everything so much faster uh it did a really good job i missed fewer spots that time so i'm learning how to use it it's a it's a different process um turning around takes a bit longer but you get so much more done on a single pass that it, that more than makes up for any time you spend turning around so all in all a very good buy my only concern now is whether it's going to fit in this shed or not. <laughs> I did have to refill it once during the process on that big field. I don't think I'm going to have to do that on any of our other fields. Yeah, it's going to fit just fine. Get it all the way back in there. And then we'll put the planter right in front of it. Very good. I'm very pleased with our new toy. All right, we're going to get the trailer put on and we're going to load up some stuff and take it to town. All right, we got the trailer loaded up. Had to jank a few crates of donuts on top, but we can deal with that. It's all strapped down. It'll ride just fine. We have 7,000 liters of beer, 12,000 liters of donuts, and we have 5,000 liters of olive oil. I think what I'm going to do here in the near future is turn off grape juice and have uh, both greenhouses produce olives and just do olive oil. The profit is much greater on olive oil. I, you know, I don't know what the production is. I'll have to look at that a little bit. Got some weeds over there in the barley field we need to take care of. We'll do that in the next episode, I think. Because we'll probably have, well, we won't have any weeds in our new barley field because we just plowed that. So we get a, a year weed free. But we will have some weeds in our oat field because there were weeds there before I planted it. So we'll take care of weeds next time. All right, we're going to take everything to the sell everything container. So I'll meet you guys over there. I just saw a flash up there. Great demand at Callan Valenta. Great demand for what? I know they don't take beer or donuts. So it must be the olive oil. No, they don't take olive oil either. So Callan Valenta doesn't take any of the things that we sell. <laughs> so I don't think I'll worry too much about the great demand over there. We're just going to sell everything right here. So we made a total of about $57,000.
uh, I think before before the next episode, I am going to turn off precision farming. We're really not using it like it's designed to be used. And um, whether we're losing money or not, I just hate to see that we have a penalty for selling things. So I'm going to turn that off. And then I won't have to look at that anymore. See you guys back at the farm. Well, I almost ended up in the river back there, but I didn't, so all's well that ends well. So we'll probably make a tiny bit of money here at the top of the hour. I, uh, I turned off grape juice and we had about 2,700 liters, and that's never going to spawn. So I went ahead and put that on selling, and then switched... Uh, Switch the greenhouses over to just produce olives, and there were just a handful of liters of grapes in there, so I also put those on selling. So we'll get a tiny amount of money at the top of the hour. But now, it's time to harvest this sorghum. And get rid of my public shame over here. <laughs> and get this sorghum out of my sugar beet field. Take care of this first, so I don't have to look at it anymore. <laughs> Unfortunately, the thing about sorghum is, it's going to remind me until I plant that again. Oh well. So we'll get the rest of this sorghum field done in no time at all.
So harvesting this field either highlighted how big the other field is or how small this field is, however you want to look at it. But, uh, yeah, this, uh, these fields take very little time to work. And now with our new 9 meter cedar, that's going to make field work even more efficient. Alright, so we've got a nice load of sorghum, so we'll have plenty of chicken feed. We have a little bit of chicken feed left, so this is just going to add quite a bit to it. We can fill up our chicken feed either two or three more times after this. And we've got some more oats planted for flour. We've got some more barley planted for beer. Uh, this is going to be ripe, I believe, next time. So we'll be harvesting some sugar beets and getting that in the mill. We have some potatoes and some more sugar beets across the river there. So we've got a lot of work coming up ahead of us. But I think that's going to do it for today's episode. If you like this video, I sure would appreciate a thumbs up or a subscription. If you did not like this video, please post a comment and tell me why. Either way, thanks so much for being here. I'll see you next time.